So today I want to go book shopping. I haven't been book shopping such a long time. I plan on going to three different bookstores. The first one is a secondhand bookstore and I really want to go there because there's a trilogy that I've seen that they had there and they were kind enough to put it on hold for me. And then I want to browse some other books for gifts for Christmas. Yes, I'm already buying Christmas gifts. It's never too early. Then I also want to go to a local bookstore here in Barcelona. It's a bookstore but they also have a cafe where you can sit down and read books and just have coffee, something to eat. And they also do a lot of creative classes. My mom used to go there to do creative writing. So yes, I think that's an amazing bookstore and I want to go there and support them. And the last bookstore that I'm going to go to is a franchise. I want to go to this bookstore because I know they have a lot of editions for different classics and I'm on a hunt to find an edition for Anna Karenina by Leo Tolstoy. Don't know what edition I should buy. I'm torn between the clothes band classic or the vintage Russian classics. So I'm going to see them in person and just touch the paper and just see which one is more comfortable for me to read because at the end of the day I just want to have something that's comfy for me to read and not something very hard and stiff so yes I'm mainly going to just browse around some bookstores and then find the perfect edition of Anna Karenina. That's like my mission today. I just feel like every single time I go to a bookstore my anxiety disappears. I'm in a very calm good mood. All my worries go away the moment I enter a bookstore. I'm really excited to have that feeling again. <laughs> okay let's go. Okay, so the first bookstore I went to was La Casa del Libro, which is a book chain here in Spain. The first one I went to was the one located in Paseta de Gracia. It's in the city center and I love walking there because all the buildings in the street are so beautiful. I love my city so much. If you love architecture, you should go to Barcelona. Well, if you love anything, you should go to Barcelona. I do think it's an amazing city. But anyways, let's start with the books. The first book I saw when I went into the store was the Spanish edition of Beautiful World, Where Are You? by Sally Rooney. Then I saw this fantasy book and I was instantly captivated by the cover. I went to Goodreads. I just love that you can scan the books on Goodreads. And I saw that none of my friends or the people I follow on Goodreads have read this book. So I decided to not buy it for now, but I did add it to my TBR. Then I saw this beautiful classics editions. My sister actually has the Peter Pan book. So maybe I will read Peter Pan. I've never actually read the story. And then I saw a Tolfman classic edition of Don Quixote. I've actually read Don Quixote. It's actually a really cool book. I think you should read it. Anyways, I saw that the book, the pages of the book were so thin. I've read the Bible so I know how the Bible pages are and I thought no book was going to have thinner pages than the Bible but this book had really thin pages and I know Anna Karenina is also a long book so I don't know if I want to buy Anna Karenina in that edition. Then I saw this Henry VIII book by Philippa Gregory. I know a lot of people like like her historical fiction book and I do love historical fiction. I do want to do my research and say in what order I should read her books. Then I saw Agatha Christie. I do like Agatha Christie. I have the book and then there were none in the left edition but then I saw the edition on the right and there were smaller paperback books but then I thought that I prefer buying her books on my Kindle since she has so many books and I don't have that much space. And then I ended up going to another La Casa de Libro store. It's like five minutes away from the other one it's in Rambla Catalunya. When I first went in I saw a cover that had the same illustration as the Oxford Classics edition of Anna Karenina. I just think that's very interesting. As you can see I found an edition of the Russian vintage classic. This is Dr. Thibago. I saw that the pages were also very thin but honestly I just think that these books are very long so maybe all the pages are really thin but I did prefer this edition because the books are a little bit wider so I think they're going to be easy to read and also the paperback feeling I just think that's going to be more comfortable to read. Then I saw some books by Hilary Mantel and I know that she's also very well loved in that historical fiction genre. Another author that I want to read. And now on to the next bookstore. This one is La Ye. This bookstore also has a very good location if you want to go there. I saw that they had so many of my favorite books and they also had Beautiful World Where Are You in the paperback English edition so I bought it and then I ended up browsing in other genres. And then I went to the cafe to have coffee and something to eat because I was very hungry. And then after eating and regaining a little bit of energy I went to the second hand bookstore. They have them all over Spain. I know in Barcelona they have a lot of the stores and they always have 
so many good deals and you can buy six books for 10 euros and i think that's amazing i went into this bookstore knowing i wanted to buy the trilogy but i also wanted to find swedish thrillers for my mom because she loves thrillers and i wanted to buy her one for christmas and then i just continued searching for other books i wanted to buy and that concludes my shopping day i actually got a cold the next day so maybe you will see that i do have a weird voice while i was filming that book haul but anyways i hope you enjoy it i have a big pile of books to show you so i'm going to start with the books that i got on the flip shop the thing i'm most excited about this haul it's the box set of infernal devices by cassandra claire i've been wanting to read this book for the longest time i knew i wanted to read the mortal instruments before i read the infernal devices and now that i have read the mortal instruments i can finally read the infernal devices and i also got the second hand box set the box is falling apart but i don't mind because the books are in very good condition this is a lot of people's favorite trilogy i'm a little bit afraid of having too high expectations i'm going to try to read them without expecting too much and then the next wait oh yeah <laughs> then the next book that i got is the hunting of hill house by shilly jackson i've read we have always lived in the castle by shilly jackson the font is pretty big so i won't have to sacrifice my eyesight while reading this book and then the other two books that i got were in spanish the first one is el cuento numero 13 by diane setterfield my cameras are recording so sorry if the angle changed and when you are at a second hand bookstore and there's so many books you just have to kind of pick up the books that your eyes go to i don't know why i just thought that this book was going to be very interesting and when i searched it on goodreads the people that i follow gave it between four and five stars so i think it's going to be an interesting book and lastly i bought this book for my mom my mom loves thrillers and mysteries so much especially scandinavian thrillers swedish thrillers are like her go-to thing. Camilla Lackberg is one of her favorite authors. I saw this mystery book and it was the first book in a series and it's Nadie lo ha visto by Mary Junstedt. This is a suspense novel in the Swedish island of Gotland so hopefully she will like it. My nose is so red. It's okay. The first one that I got is Sally Rooney, Beautiful World, Where Are You? Like I said, I wanted to buy this book. I'm a little afraid to read it, I'm not gonna lie. I do know that this book is going to make me feel very sad and it's going to make me reevaluate my entire life because Sally Rooney tends to do those things to me, but I'm still excited to read it. And then the other book that I bought, I know I'm not going to read it until spring or summer of next year, but I still wanted to buy it and it's Elena de Sparta by Loretta Minutili. Helen of Sparta is the woman that everyone says started the Trojan War. Let me tell you, she didn't, she didn't start a war, like the war was started by men. The poor woman was just in between everything. Some people may know her as Helen von Troja. I'm excited to read the Trojan War from her point of view. Her story written from a woman's point of view because I feel like every single book written about Helen is just so... they blame her for everything. I feel like she needs a book written by a woman and not by a man. About the Anna Karenina book situation between the Penguin Cloth Bound and the Russian Vintage Classics. With both of them, I liked the font, but the paper is so thin that I didn't know what to do. But then I saw a video by Ariel and she was mentioning the Russian Vintage Classics and she said that she loved them and that she recommends people to buy those editions. So I was sold. So this was my book haul. I hope you guys liked it. Hopefully my energy wasn't too bad. Like I said before, I'm sick. Uh, my mind right now is so cloudy that I don't know what I'm saying anymore. So yes, I hope you guys liked this video and I will see you very soon. Bye. My name, it is Marie.